Hello and welcome to the triumphant conclusion of Pokemon Leaf Green. I am the Max of You Trades, and the last part I took a stroll down Victory Road and made a complete and total doofus out of myself. Not one of my better moments, I must admit. But, besides all that, we finally arrived on the Indigo Plateau, ready to challenge the Elite Four and show our extraordinary dominance over all of the Pokemon trainers. Our Pokemon are fully healed and ready to go. They're slightly stronger than they were before. Not by a lot, not nearly as much as I would hope, but I'm confident that I have the skills that this game requires of me in order to, you know, properly vanquish my enemies. However, on the extraordinarily likely chance that I will fail miserably, I am packed to the gills with revives, and let's see, they're in here somewhere. Uh, I probably scrolled past them. Max potions, there we go, 31 of the dang things. Fully restores HP. Because if you're not aware of this fact, and it's possible, I suppose, when you're facing the Elite Four, you have to face all four of them back to back. Which means you don't get to go to the Pokemon Center over here, you know, in between every single fight, and it can really wear down your Pokemon after a while. Especially ones that are, aren't nearly as strong as they really should be for something like this. So, I quite literally spent all of my money I've, let's see, yeah, I've got only a thousand bucks to my name, and I've got a tingle in my throat, I apologize. <coughs> okay, but anyway, that's enough exposition and an explanation. It is time to begin our epic challenge. First things first, we've got this lady. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at the mercy. It will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Jokes on you, lady. Actually, successfully freezing a Pokemon is one of the least likely status ailments that there are in the game. So, yeah. now watch as she freezes all of my Pokemon at once. Ha <laughs> ha Are you ready? As ready as our uh, as ready as I'll ever be, lady. Lorelei or Lorelei or however you choose to pronounce the name. All right, bring it on. She's. Has, she's pretty much made it abundantly clear. She is fully decked out with some ice-type Pokemon. Starting out with a Dugon. Dugong gong. That's a very silly voice. And for reasons I don't entirely understand, fighting types do quite well against ice types. So Nami is going to be our front runner. As you can probably tell, she is also the highest level Pokemon on my entire team. I did that for a reason. Because... Ice doesn't do too well for a good number of my Pokemon, so I really needed something to be able to take it out real easy. However, the one exception to that rule would be Slowbro here, which we're going to throw out Bulborb, which is a little risky. Ice and Grass don't do too well together, but if we're quick enough, we should be able to take down the Slowbro before it's a real problem. Lower Ice sends out Slowbro, the Derp Among Derps. If we can just Frenzy Plant it, it should be good. The, its defense stat's not that great. This is a powerful Grass-type move. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. All right, critical hit. That's exactly what I needed. Good going, Bulborb. Okay, you're really showing your stuff. Okay, and Delta grows to level 50 because it's holding an experience share. That's a story I'll probably get into after I'm done with this fight. All right, what else you got? What else you got? You're going to use out a Lapras, huh? Okay. I could have had a Lapras, but my team was a bit full at the moment, so it was not my best, uh, it was not in my best, you know, ideas to, you know, exchange one of my teammates for another one. Okay, Lapras, you want, you want a challenge? Well, have a cross chop to the face! That should take it out pretty easily. Yes, it, another critical hit! Man, I am getting crazy lucky in this fight. Okay, well, who's next? Bring it on! Knowing my luck, I'm gonna go ahead and guess Cloyster's probably gonna be her next Pokemon. Nami's trying to learn Thrash. Hell no, I ain't using Thrash. That move is crazy risky. Plus, it makes you confused at the end of your turn, so no thank you. Alright, so bring out your next Pokemon. Cloyster it is! I knew you were hiding that thing deep down in your Pokeballs. Alright, bring it on! Now can we take it out before it uses Hail? That'll be... Possibly, but we will not be taking it out this turn because it decided to prolong the inevitable by using Protect. Fantastic. Okay. Nami, nice try. Let's try Cross Chop one more time. There we go. Does that take out the Cloisterish Fiend? Yes, it does. Way to go, Nami. All that training paid off, I guess. Alright, Delta gained a bunch of experience points. Very good, very good. Jinx! 
Jinx Jinx McJinxington, eh? A Pokemon many people find kind of creepy. And I am not one who thinks that she is creepy, but she is weird. All the same, you know, she's gone now, so I suppose there's no further discussion on the matter. Uh, man, I wonder if I would ever catch a Jinx. Possibly. Things shouldn't be this way, but yet they are. And somehow I didn't sustain any damage whatsoever. That is deeply weird. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only get a taste of the Pokemon League's power. Oh, is that so? Well, it's a good thing I came prepared for what's what lies ahead, which we're definitely going to need Bulbar for. Let me tell you that much. All right, Mr. Shirtless Man, what's your story? I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained with fighting Pokemon, and that will never change. We will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha! He has turned into Al Pacino. Now, he's actually a little bit deceptive there. Um, Much like Lorelei having a Slowbro, which isn't a nice type, he's wielding two Pokemon that are not fighting types, which is very strange. He actually has two Onyxes, which have nothing to do with the fighting type whatsoever. Kind of confusing. But it, it, I suppose I really have no place in complaining because it makes for an easy fight. Although I'm going to miss, obviously, and use the Rock Tomb, which is probably going to lower my speed. Uh, well, hopefully that won't mean much because you will be going down instantaneously. However, that is not to say he does not have fighting type Pokemon. It's just he doesn't have all fighting type Pokemon, which is weird because he does not have a Primeape. Which is weird. You'd think he would have, like, at least all of the fighting type Pokemon available to him. If he ran out in the first generation, I could see that being, you know, okay, well, give him something just suitably cool. So they gave him an Onix. I can understand that, but you didn't even use Primeape. So you couldn't have taken out one of those extra Onixes and replaced it with a Primeape? A little weird. Ah, uh, well, it's got a Hitmonchan, a very powerful Pokemon indeed, if you, you know, train it correctly. Delta learned Drill Peck off screen, and holy ding dong dang, well, that was actually very successful! <laughs> Go Delta! Was not expecting that from you. Okay, and you're gonna use Machamp. Not good. Machamp is his ace in the hole, if you will. Uh, it's definitely something to be kind of weary of. Okay, um, I think he's probably gonna use, like, Bulk Up or something, or whatever that move is called. So, Drill Peck its face. Oh my god. Wow, that did way more damage than I thought I was going to do. Go Delta, scary face, yes! Waste your turn lowering my speed. Even if you use your next turn to attack me at, at your fullest, Delta should be able to withstand the might of the Machamp long enough to use another Drill Peck and take this fool down. Crazy downtown. I don't even care that you've got a, you've got a, a Citrus Berry Cross Chop. That's actually a very powerful move. Delta, Delta made it through! Woo! All right, go Delta. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a little loud there, but I'm doing surprisingly well. I uh, anticipated much more failure than this, but things are going pretty well for me. Okay, and there goes the Delta leveling up once more. Let's see what else you got. You're going to use Hitmonlee. Delta, you stick out. You've been doing really good. You are on a roll. Might as well cover yourself in butter. Okay, another Drill Peck because it seems to be working. Or we could get Mega Kicked in the face. I apologize, Delta. That was not in the schedule. I got cocky. I got cocky. Okay, well, who? Oh, wait, I just realized <laughs> Sasha's a normal type. That's actually a terrible matchup, but all the same, let's do this thing. Brick break. Not good on Sasha's end. Okay, I just made a very foolish decision. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay, um, that's okay. We can still get through this. We are not hopelessly doomed because Body Slam did a lot of damage. Okay, well, there's no point in having Sasha pointlessly, you know, just knocked out for no reason I can heal you off heal you once this battle is done okay come on come on come on come on and intimidated as attack stat that's actually very useful on a hitmonlee seeing as how attack is pretty much its main thing and you're gonna use it to use a fill restore that's why i don't feel bad using healing items in here they use them too granted they don't use revives like i'm inevitably going to do but still um thunder wave its face Miss entirely! Oh, no, wait, it, ha oh, it actually has a thing that prevents paralysis. That's a that's a pretty good ability, actually. Okay, fine. Well played! Probably should have researched you before I went into this battle, but hey. I'm a type of guy who likes to improvise. Okay, well, that actually did a considerable amount of damage. Ken Tempest! 
tank its way through a mega kick? It totally can, and we're gonna earthquake the your face off. Your practically non-existent face, admittedly, but it's still there. You have eyes. That's a face. Okay, a whole bunch of experience. Well, not, not, not really all that much experience points, but hey, something's better than nothing, I guess. All right, Blue Blurb, it's your time to finish off this craziness once and for all. Like I said, no Primeape, second Onyx. Not sure what the deal with that is. It's actually a very strong Onyx, too, but can it survive the might of the Razor Leaf? Statistically and logically, it really should be able to, but it cannot be due to game mechanics. So, go us. And that would be the end of Bruno! Why, how could I lose? Well, tight mismatching mostly. Just be lucky I didn't have a psychic type. My job is done. Go face your next challenge. And he looks away at us in disapproval. Or perhaps he's ashamed. Not really sure which. Okay, so now it's time to make use of these items. Where is the revive? Thank you. Give that to poor Delta, who I needlessly sacrificed for the greater good. Very sorry there, Delta. Hopefully you can forgive me. And very quickly, let us heal up our team. Ah, ah. It's so easy to skip right past that thing. Okay. You get full healed. Good, good, good. And then poor Sasha, who got brick bricked upside the head. Or belly. Depends on, I guess, where it decided to hit. Honestly, it seems like a poor decision to attack a Snorlax on the stomach. That's pretty much its most padded area. Then again, we're not really relying on realistic physics here. And Bulbar's pretty good. I don't think he needs to be healed, so... Oh, dang. Who should... Let's go with... No, not Delta. Let's go with Sasha on this next one. This will either go really well or terribly for me. 